Sony has just brought the future of digital imagery to our present day with the announcement of the Alpha 9 III. I had the opportunity to spend several days with it shooting around New York City. So in this video, I'll give you my first impressions of this exciting new camera. Welcome back to Alpha Universe. I made it back home to Orlando, Florida after spending a week in New York City for their Creative Space event, where Sony ended up announcing the world's first camera with a global shutter full frame image sensor. This technology brings several incredible advancements with it, including the ability to shoot blackout free up to 120 frames per second continuous shooting with full autofocus and auto exposure tracking. If you're a sports or wildlife photographer, this is going to ensure that you end up getting the perfect shot, especially when you pair it with some of Sony's latest lenses like their new 300 millimeter F2.8 G Master lens. If you watch my videos here on the channel or you follow my work, you know that I'm primarily a portrait photographer. There were two features on this camera that as I watched the announcement, I was so excited to test out. The first was the A9III's insane shutter speeds, allowing photographers to shoot up to 1 80,000th of a second. That in and of itself is very impressive and will come in handy when you're shooting portraits with a wide aperture in bright conditions, but it gets even more interesting when you understand what this means for people like me who use a flash. You see, with the inclusion of a global shutter, we now have the ability to sync up a flash and use it with those blazing fast shutter speeds. On most cameras available on the market, you usually can only sync a flash anywhere from 1 1 60th of a second to maybe 1 400th of a second if you have something like the Sony Alpha 1. Anything beyond that, and you would need a remote and a flash that is compatible with a feature called high speed sync, and that technology has limitations to it. I actually made a video talking about high-speed sync and how it works that we'll link in the description of this video if you wanna learn more about that. But what's amazing with the Alpha 9 III is that you can now get the maximum output of your flash at just about any shutter speed. Now when you're outdoors taking photos with a flash, you could use your shutter speeds to expose your image however you'd like, and then use a flash to light up your subject. I didn't have my flashes with me in New York City, but some other photographers brought some Sony speed lights and uh, an off-brand LED light that actually had a flash. And I decided to take a few frames with it and it made me look forward to doing more types of shots like that. I can tell you with confidence that over the course of the next year, you're gonna see a whole new level of flash photographs that most people have never seen before. Looking at the body of the camera, I've been a huge fan of the layout of the Alpha 9 series, where they've added dials on top for your drive and autofocus modes. They've also incorporated some of the new dials that we've seen in recent cameras and also changed the ergonomics of the grip. They've also added a custom button close to the lens mount, which could be used to quickly change your burst rate when you need it or for whatever other features that you need access to. I was excited to see that the Alpha 9 III has Sony's dynamic stabilization mode, which I was first able to use on the ZV-E1. Anytime I shoot video on that camera with that mode turned on, it's almost like the camera is on a gimbal. I have a video about that here on the channel that you could check out, but it's really cool to see that it's in this new camera. Like I mentioned earlier, I took this camera around New York City and I used it to photograph everyday things, some wildlife, and of course, some portraits. I'll add those here on screen for you to check out. Keep in mind though, that since this was a pre-production model that I was using, I wasn't able to open the RAW files just yet. So you are looking at JPEG images. Over the next few weeks, I'll be doing some more shoots with this camera. So if you have any specific questions or things that you'd like for me to cover in those future videos, let me know in the comment section. Retail pricing in the US will be $5,999 and it will be available by spring 2024. But I'll make sure to get as many videos done for you before that time so that you can see more from this amazing camera. Now, alongside the Alpha 9 III, Sony also announced the 300 millimeter F2.8 G Master lens. If you wanna learn more about it, you could check out the video that you see here on the screen, and I'll see you there.